Well, more than decades ago, when I was still a student, I asked my teacher what was so good about Picasso's painting. You know, Picasso's uh, famous uh, painting. If you look at it, it's a it's a little bit weird. So um, yeah, that's why I asked teacher this question. However, my teacher responded by saying that、um, you are too young, dear, to understand that. I、uh, couldn't argue with such an answer. <laughs> Obviously, I was too young. Uh, but、um, I learned that、uh, there was a vast amount of information that was、uh, beyond my teacher's ability to explain, and of course、uh, my ability to comprehend.、Uh, but from that day on, the question of what painting truly is has haunted me, consciously or unconsciously,、uh, as I、uh, search for an answer. Now I, when we finished school,、uh, I、um, was doing job for finance and then as a programmer. I、uh, never set foot at the、uh, art field again.、Uh, not until recently.、Um, recently, I got unemployed, and、um, uh, I decided instead of just、uh, continue to find a job, I decided to、uh, pursue the dream that I always wanted to do.、Um, as I pursue my dream,、uh, I think the answer is starting to become clear, and uh, that's uh, more than twenty years later. So. I think when people look at Picasso's paintings, they are not just a question the artwork itself, but rather they're questioning about the essence of human soul. This can be seen as a as underlying thing behind the question of what、uh, what painting truly is. And how to、uh, how to say this?、Um, to understand these concepts,、um, we need to step back, way back, in fact.、Uh, And、um, let's、um, let's go back to the origins of drawings of paintings. Like we go back、uh, hundreds of millions of years. We can first observe the first human-like creatures, the、uh, the ape man. Okay, who was first、uh, to recognize his own humanity. He say,、um, "Whoa, I、uh, I I'm aware, and、uh, I know that I am uh, uh, different, and uh, this up."、Uh, Our ancestor, this this newfound awareness,、um, brought about、uh, I think a sense of loneliness, as the、um, the first person recognized that、um, his existence as individual, and is、uh, completely separate from anybody else from all the group of ancestors, and of course he or she would try to find the、uh, solution to this、uh, lasting loneliness, and.、Uh, This usually、uh, comes in in three forms, and、um, these three forms will be、uh, the first, of course, the expansion of self through procession. Okay,、um, that means that、um, you want to expand yourself, you want to extend yourself, and、um, you want to yeah, have everything around you, and、um, it will be the first form because、uh, you are long, you want to have it all, and.、Um, The second will be、um, the pursuit of、uh, the truth of this world, and、uh, that will be、uh, through philosophy and science.、Um, so yeah, I think philosophy and science just、um, want to get the essence, want to get the abstract idea of this world, and、uh, you want to get、uh, say one uniform of truth, so like a formula of uh, of some of、uh, I don't know, maybe some formula that can solve it all. Um, so it will be a second solution, and I think this is the third、um, solution will be like、um, the shaping、uh, of creation、um, of, of of myth of uh, uh, and then maybe a higher pursuit like a religion something like that.、Uh, I don't know. I should read it later. <laughs> it's just that.、Uh, just just my thought and my journey. Okay, and、uh, let's、uh, let's go back to talk about painting. I think painting, drawing, and all the art is like、um, like these three paths, and、uh, it's、uh, it's aimed to bridge the boundaries between. Uh, different selves, okay. And、uh, however, we artists, unlike others, express themselves through the visual image. And、um, the artist, the painter, the painter, the model, <laughs>、uh, the、uh, the mangaka,、uh, they、uh, they attempt to alleviate this kind of loneliness of soul and,、um, of course, expand the boundary of themselves. And、um, these are three. Styles of painting,、uh, I think,、um, corres- correspond to these、uh, ends. So、um, the first is to、uh, expand self through procession. So、um, um, if you want to draw, you can draw some 
realistic uh, uh, drawing. Okay, and this means that uh, uh, you are mine. I want to possess it. I want to uh, um, expand myself. You are mine. Okay, uh, I capture this, and I'm going to draw it down. And uh, of course, uh, the second one will be the uh, uh, the pursuit of truth of these words, like um, uh, the pursuit of a certain concept. So um, I'm yours. Okay, so we got abstract thing. Okay, so. For example, we got language and we can communicate better. I'm, I'm going to talk about that uh, uh, later. And um, of course, um, the third one will be uh, the unity of all selves. Um, so, like, um, we got to create a, a common image, like a religion, like a, like some myth uh, or higher pursuit. And the, the un unity of self um, is like a, we are all in this together, all right? Uh, it's not I own you, you are mine, or I'm yours, or I want to communicate. It's that we're all in this together. So let's talk about um, the first uh, kind of a realistic uh, way of, uh, of art. So I think the expansion of, of selves um, through our art, through the image, uh, become the first style of paintings. And um, this kind of painting is, uh, is, is aimed to restore the realistic um, thing, like a realistic representation of what you saw earlier. And uh, as artists, our focus is, um, was primarily on our external world. And um, of course, um, we faced the challenge of, uh, of how effective, um, how efficient that we can con convey uh, um, our daily life through the detailed drawings. And uh, uh, as you might <laughs> have already uh, I guessed that, uh, yeah, this, um, this artist faced the challenge of, uh, say, uh, the invention of a camera, um, the, the invention of, uh, of mobile phones, that we, we, we can definitely capture things better. And, and, and how can you draw something more realistic than I just, uh, I just recall this? That will be so real. Recently we got, uh, say, like a 3D, like a 360 degree camera that can actually record things and you can import that um, into your, say, Oculus or uh, Vision Pro, something like that. And you can experience that, re-experience that. So, um, yeah, this is a kind of uh, art will always be shocked by a new kind of technology. And um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, let's imagine this, though, uh, because you want, you, you want to assert ownership by draw that. Uh, so if you're you're a caveman, okay, so you, you want to say, hey, I, uh, I captured a cow today, okay, and uh, I have done a heroic hunting today, and I want to draw that, and, and just draw that on the wall, and uh, so as time goes by, you, you will use cameras to do that, you will use, use video to do that, you will share your daily life using this method, and uh, yeah, if everyone has the ability to process uh, to process image, to have image, to exert ownership of that kind of, uh, um, yeah, just assert ownership of, of, of their surroundings. Um, that will, yeah, that will, that, that, that will be everyone will have the ability to, uh, to have this first kind of um, drawing. And um, of course, this to uh, lead to the emergence of the second style of drawing. Uh, which we mainly focused on the symbolic communication. So, uh, for example, uh, if you are a caveman, you, you say, hey, uh, I, I, I have a great hunt today. Uh, and you just draw some stick figure, and uh, other people will know what you're talking about before you finish that. So, uh, uh, I think nowadays you can even use emoji to communicate. And uh, I think it's a much more efficient way for communication. And um, um, so, of course, I think this may lead to some concise language. Um, so, for example, you, you say you draw a moon, and uh, you can uh, uh, you, you can control that. And of course, uh, this will involve you uh, some characters. Uh, so, for example, a Chinese character we have a, like a moon shaped as as a, as a character. And uh, um, so, I think the second um, way of drawing is like the, doing the abstract things and uh, uh, using the uh, the feeling. Okay. The, 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 the uh, concise language, the concise drawing, uh, for efficient communication, and the efficient uh, uh, communication of thoughts, and of course, I think um, here comes to the third style of paintings, 
and uh, I call that uh, refactoring. So I think this uh, really is, is about turn our attention inwards and um, exploring uh, our own emotions and the inner world. And um, so Picasso, uh, let's talk back <laughs> about Picasso. So Picasso, uh, when, when they uh, when, when he uh, aware the significance of an image representation, and uh, I think the reason why Picasso is so great is that they make groundbreaking contribution to the art world by uh, by by look at uh, the painting before him, the drawing before him, and say, uh, yeah, he's just like the biggest troll of that time. He said, well, you all artists uh, draw things no different than the caveman. <laughs> okay, it's just they use the first and second style of drawing. You you draw things realistic, and um, even though you got some uh, say, uh, like the um, abstract way of drawing, you do not draw that uh, uh, too detailed, but you're still drawing things. You're not experiment things. So, um, obviously Picasso can already draw pretty well when he was uh, really young, but uh, he's kind of breaking away from the classical technique he had already mastered. So he kind of liked the uh, learner rule, so he can break it, something like that. Okay, so, uh, and, uh, and I think he actually, when you look at his painting, he can uh, kind of really play around his uh, shapes or all the shapes or image uh, a bit. He kind of uh, just refactoring and reconstruct it the shape as well as, as this image by depicting different angles and um, like breaking down the richer shape, breaking down this uh, like the uh, prospect, and uh, he kind of just challenged the way of looking at the world. Okay, so so previously we look at the world and we draw things like really really realistically, and uh, he challenged it traditionally. And I look at this world through a, I think he has said that um, he spends his whole life to learn to draw like a child. So he kind of uh, he kind of just approached this painting with a like a like a trained, but it's pure eye of it of it, of the children, and um, yeah, just give birth to a new kind of style, new kind of my perspective. In fact, about uh, what is art, what drawing is, what what art is. Okay, and uh, yeah, so um, that's my journey. That's my experience, and um, uh, this is kind of like an experiment theory that I make um, where I, in the middle of the night, I talk about uh, my experience, my journey, my understanding. Uh, I'm a beginner, obviously, uh, about, about, um, about art, about a famous uh, artist. And, uh, and of course, I practiced along the way. And when I uh, uh, recall this, before that, in fact, I uh, quickly sketch whatever I have in mind and uh, to join so I can practice uh, and, uh, and 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 can make a video uh, of, of it so it will be a little bit boring if you guys just uh, listen to my voice and uh, yeah that's uh, that, that, that I think that's all and uh, that's the answer that at least right now I, I have um, for for the younger self okay so why Picasso's painting are good and, and what painting what drawing uh, really is okay so uh, Yes, yeah, thanks for your time. If you're still there, uh, please subscribe and support this channel. It actually supports my living. It's really, really important for me. Uh, thank you so much. If you, if you think my videos is a little bit interesting, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up. And uh, see you next time. Bye.